Our flagship fund, the Aerial uh, Fund, is the number one performing fund in its class over that time period, 20.2% per year for 10 years. It means if you put $10,000 in, you'd have 67000 today. So you're the expert. What's happening in the next year? Well, that's always much harder to, to say, but I, I will say that uh, there's still a lot of negativity in there in corporate earnings. I think you asked whether uh, bad earnings are baked in. We'd say they're more than baked in. That people are too pessimistic about the economy. People are put too high a level of confidence in government statistics, and yet when those numbers get revised, they've been pretty regularly revised up. So the GDP number that we got was better than expected. We think people are going to beat in the first quarter. We think oil prices being up is going to help energy company earnings. So all in, we would say there's more negativity than positivity here, and so we're going to have a good year for the rest of so the year. So the 10-year anniversary has more room to run? How many more years? Well, see, we just don't think that, um, that bull markets die of old age. I know it's a cliche, but if anything, there's momentum in markets. And then when people are doing well in the market, money comes in. So we really do feel that, uh, frankly, that, that people are still scared from the Great Recession. When we go talk to investment committees, they're all asking that same question. When is this going to end? When is this going to end? We don't see any reason why it has to. And Steve, to give some credit your way as well, joined us right. last week and, and felt that there was room for a bit of a pullback, which we've, we've seen so, a bit of today, but we're off so the So Charlie could be right, and you can't argue with, with Charlie's fund's results, but it comes down to the timing of it right now. So Charlie could be right a year from now, two years from now, or three years from now. It, it stay the course, invest long term. But what about the next three months? Charlie will probably tell you his guess is as good as anybody's guess. But you have EPS that's gone negative, margins have peaked, GDP is falling. Is this a good time to pay the high levels that we've seen in the market? Well, you could also argue that a Fed that's totally made a U-turn and gone patient right. with a dovish bias. You've got still potential, quantitative, uh, uh, still still quantitative tightening. tightening. Potential for a trade deal with China, which was a huge overhang of uncertainty. And Factored in, as you, as you spoke emerging. with uh, Peter Vukta, so, Vukta. so you're saying all the good news is already so I, so I think, as, as, as Wolf said, is all the bad news factor in? Well, you have Germany, Italy, and Japan basically in recession or teetering on recession. And you have China teetering on recession. So where do you go from here? is lower in the overall markets. China is not teetering on recession. It's just slowing from six and a half. I don't, to I don't, I don't know. Their government but, but, PMI is, is, is contracting. Their private PMI is contracting. Nonetheless, it bounced a little bit. So what is a trade deal going to do for China when GDP has fallen, pretty much collapsed for China?